guys, so for today I am going to do a get ready with me and this is going to be a champagne-y eyeshadow look and it's just going to be so so beautiful. I'm going to use some of my new products from Stila. So I'm just very very excited to show you guys what I'm going to do. It's going to be glittery, champagne-y, beautiful and really really great for spring as well. So without further ado, let's begin! The first thing that I do is priming my face with my The Professional Primer from Benefit. Then I'm taking my Benefit Hello Flawless Oxygen Wild Foundation and I'm going to use that with my buffing brush from Real Techniques. I did a review about this one, or a first impressions I think I called it, and oh, I love it. It is so good. Definitely one of my favourite foundations at the moment. Then I'm taking my Lasting Perfection Concealer from Collection and using that right here under my eyes to brighten up. I use a fair amount because I really like how it brightens my under eye area. And the best thing about this concealer is that even though it's kind of thick in its texture, then it's not too thick and I don't really find that it creases on me, so that's really lovely. And then to hide some minor imperfections or redness uh, in my skin, I'm going to use my MAC Pro Long Wear Concealer. And I just put a bit out on my nose, like that. And then I just take my buffing brush and buff it in. I've had some trouble with minor spots around on my face. And it hasn't really been like blemishes or sits or anything like that. But it's just been red and sore and just nasty. But finally it's gone. And to set the foundation and the concealer, I'm going to use my e.l.f. Tone Correcting Powder. The really good thing about this powder as well is that you can use a fair amount of it without getting too powdery in your skin, so that's really nice. Then I'm going to take my Hoola Bronzer from Benefit and use that. Oh, I hate that noise. Oh, blah, I hate it. I remember when I started bronzing, I was just like, this does not look good. And now I'm just like, I can't live without it. It's like, it's one of those things that I just do every single day because it just makes such a difference. But I do remember before, I was so like, ah, what did I just do? And then I'm taking my Estee Lauder Pure Color blush and this is a illuminating power gel blush and it is in the colour tease which looks like this so amazingly stunningly beautiful I love it um, unfortunately I think it was a limited edition one so then it's time for my brows and I'm going to brush through them firstly oh my god I feel like I have to sneeze Hold it in. Okay, and I'm going to use my Brow Sings um, Brow Shaping Kit from Benefit and I'm going to use my 266 brush from MAC. fallen in love with this um, brow shaving kit from Benefit. Before you know I always use my MAC um, Brow Duo Palette because I just thought that was like the easiest way to do my brows. But I am so in love with this um, thing. It takes a little longer to do my brows now because it is a different kind of texture that I'm working with. It's more like a gel texture but I really like it and I like the look of it as well. It looks actually more natural. And then I'm setting my brows with my Gush Defining Brow Gel. 
just to make sure that they stay in place all during the day and that they don't smudge or go anywhere. Then it's time for my eyes and I'm going to use my new Stila Smudge Pot in the colour Kitten um, and it kind of like reminds me of the 24 hour colour tattoos from Maybelline or the paint pots from MAC. Um, and it looks like this, it kind of like reminds me of the colour Bear Study from uh, MAC, but we'll see how it looks on the skin. Okay, this is a funny fact for you guys, just a little thing for you to know, but I thought this was going to be an exact like dupe for a paint pot or something like that, but it's actually much thicker in texture and not as creamy in texture, it's more like thick in texture and gives actually much more colour, um, it's much more opaque in colour than the paint pots are in my mind at least. Okay, so now a really interesting thing. I'm going to use this new Stila Magnificent Metal Eyes, also in the colour Kitten. And it is an eyeshadow kind of thing with a lot of shimmer in it, as you can see. It is such a pretty champagne-y, shimmery, also a bit golden colour. And it comes with this funny little, just like this little baby. I think it's come, kind of like a um, glue. It says here, stay all day liquid eye primer. So I think I'm going to put this on a brush like this and then we'll see how it works. Oh, little baby. Boop. Okay, maybe I should just blend that in. Wow, that is glittery and shimmery and um, a bit too much for an everyday look, definitely, but it is really pretty. It looks kind of like galaxy and I don't know if you can see it in the light. And I think I'm just going to warm up my crease with my um, hula bronzer and with a blending brush. Okay, I don't know why, but right now I feel like it's much more wearable than before. It's a bit more downtoned with all of the glitter, and I think that's why I feel like it's more wearable now than before. So I really like that. Pretty! And I'm going to use my high brow glow from Benefit. I'm doing it, I'm going to do a winged eyeliner and I'm going to use my MAC Super Sleek Liquid Eyeliner. Oh my god, that looks so cool. Really, really awesome. I'm so glad that I did that. Moving on to eyelashes, I'm going to curl them with my Shimura eyelash color. 
That was weird. And the way that I curl them is just, I'm saying one, two, three. And then I'm going to use my Miss Manga Mascara from L'Oreal because I think it's my new favourite at the moment. It is so, so good. I swear to God, I love it. Because I had some fallout um, because of all of the glitter, it was not too much, but just a little bit. I'm going to conceal once again with my lasting perfection, just a tiny bit, just because I feel like I have to. Oh yeah, much, much, much better. Then I'm going to highlight with my MAC Mineralite Skin Finish in the colour Light Scapade, which is a beautiful colour. And for lipstick I'm going for a creamy nude colour and I'm going for my MAC Cream Cup, which looks like this. There you go! So this was my um, champagne -y get ready with me and I really hope that you liked it. I love this look, I think it's so 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 beautiful, it's actually much better than what I expected and also when I actually did the shimmery um, eyeshadow I was a little bit like, oh, maybe this is not as good an idea as I thought. But it looks so so good now and I'm glad that it looks like it does. I'm going to zoom in so you can see what I have done. And if you did, make sure to give it a huge thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and you know the drill. Thank you so, so much and have an awesome day. 